Hello, this is Leila. In this short video, I'm going to talk about one of concepts of visualization uh, that I learned from the book name Storytel Storytelling with Data for visualization. Uh, I actually, this is the one of the reference of book that I teach at uni, so I really like to share it with you here. One of the interesting things that I uh, also myself face a lot is about clutter. Clutter or noise, any excessive or un, uh, kind of the unnecessary data or unnecessary visual or any data point that you put in the visual and this actually uh, it doesn't help to understand better the visual or get more information and uh, also, they provide some noises that distract the uh, user from reading the chart. So, uh, from the book, uh, that's a chart actually that you can see. So, that's a simple uh, two-line chart based on months and a number that is the uh, actually no volume received for a book. Uh, we are going to see that how we can actually make it simpler and remove some of the noises. So one of the thing is that the chart has border. We don't need border most of the time. Border uh, can be useful in some scenario, but when you have a couple of different charts you want to distinguish, but in most of the time is really distracted and is kind of is a line in the chart that uh, can distract the user. So the first step is actually is to remove the border. Uh, also in Power BI, you know that we have border. Uh, the best scenario is not to use them if it's not really actually you don't want to distinguish a specific chart from other. If it's for that case, yes, it's good to use. Another one is uh, grid line. So sometimes we create charts and for the alignment, when we design it, we need to have a grid line. But after that, having grid line doesn't uh, actually that much uh, information to the user. Still, user can find what is the top number, what is the bottom and the other by just looking at that. So uh, if there is lots of points there and that's the only chart that you think that can be really useful, then yes. But in most of the scenario, we don't need grid lines. The next one is remove data maker as you can see in the uh, first charts we have some data maker at the each spot that the charts goes up and down this can be helpful when you do the anomaly detection because it's actually specified that point but we don't need it for most of the scenario so it's not necessary to have it so let's remove it clean up the Access. So as you can see in the access, we have the full name of the month. But because of the human brain, if you just write Jan, Feb, March, uh, M I R, uh, M A R, or A P R, the people can understand that's actually month name. So we don't need to have the whole name. Also, the number is numeric. For example, if the num your the digit that you're showing here is a numeric, you don't need to show the decimal point of that so it's better to remove it in the next one is actually is about the legend of the data uh, in this scenario i can say maybe for two or three legend can be good but if you have more line of the data it's very hard to user going back and forward to legend to read so it's sometimes it's good idea to put the legend in front of the line because it's increased the readability and user with a one look can see and identify that. And the last one that you can see here is that to make it consistency is better that the, we have a consistent color. So if the blue line talking about a specific one that is ticket volume received, it's better that actually the color of the label or the legend that we put here is also the same so you can now see that how much they are telling the same story but this one the one that located at the right side is much cleaner with a less noise and unnecessary things and this is much more readable by user uh, thanks so much for watching this 
video uh, i really enjoy the book that i mentioned to you so i will definitely uh, i will put more uh, interesting things from this book and i recommend to you to actually read it it's really good for visualization aspects any tools you using thanks so much